all the rep ranges, all the all the weight ranges are being utilized. And I'm definitely outside of my comfort zone with every single workout. So that's a common theme. If you're comfortable, chances are you're probably not growing unless you're just a genetic freak. So most of us aren't genetic freaks and most of us need to step outside of our comfort zone, get uncomfortable and exhaust every single method possible to do something uh, to attain a certain goal to get to where we want to go. Check out the video, I got a lot stronger and uh, I'm doing the damn thing. So I will see y'all next time. Great workout today. We were extremely heavy. Nick went up to um, 130. 130 on the, the dips. Blasting all three heads with triceps. This, this is kind of, there we go, come on. Let's go. Boom. Yep. Come on. Yeah, two more, come on. This lift got is this. Uh, proven in uh, MRI studies to really hammer all three heads of the triceps. That's a very serious weight he is using. That's 130 pounds over Nick's body weight. The kind of weight that would res command respect from the prison yard to the Scotland yard. So let's go, Nick. Come on. Yeah. Two more, come on. You got it? Good. Stop, stop, stop. Now, okay, so we went We went to, uh, Nick went 130 pounds. That was four reps, 120 pounds, that was four reps. Now we're a cluster set. So you have five reps with 40 pounds over his body weight. We're going to rest 15 seconds. We're going to do as many sets as possible. Our goal here is six. Anything better than that is just icing on the cake. Hold on. Go! Went to the, the pull-ups. We, we talked about the brachialis activation. You pause. At 15, degree, at 15 degrees, shy lock out and really hold it and squeeze that isometrically for three seconds. That's all of his body weight there, too. 240 pounds now? Yeah, 240. Yes, yeah, 240. Gain weight. Gain weight like he's supposed to be. And the, the, we already know, I think that inch is already there now, but we still have another week, so if it's seven eighths of an inch, we'll get, we're okay. But we're gonna, we're gonna make, the beginning of the workout next week, we're gonna measure it, get that taped up, and, and show the final pro, win, lose, or fail. It's been a hell of a journey, so we're gonna decide to wrap it up. Today was a great workout. Great superset there. You saw the different exercises we did, so. We would normally, we were gonna think about changing a couple exercises up, but Nick's had a couple little, he's had a couple tweaks um, outside of the weight room, so what we're gonna do here is just stick with what we know is gonna feel okay here on the incline dumbbell curls. I mean, no better exercise to work the long head of your okay. bicep at that. One dumbbell? Yeah, but like the one and one quarter reps. What kind of weight you think you If I'm keeping my elbows really straight, yes. probably 70, 75. Let's go 70 then. Yeah. Go eight reps like that, okay? All right. So what are we doing here? Is this a failure? Yeah. Super set with that? Yep. Burn Nick's, we're 
we're gonna burn, we haven't done anything higher up today for his triceps, so we're gonna really burn them out here. We go 50, 40, 30, 20 on that dip machine over there. There's no need for stabilization or anything. Just gonna be all muscle. Of that is you got to see we're, we're trying you know we hope you guys have picked up if you picked up nothing else we're trying not to be dogmatic and we're doing like just oh, okay you got to bench close grips and if you do that you get big triceps or you know barbell curls are the only way no there's a you got to do a variety of exercise hit a bunch of different angles variety of sets reps tempos rep ranges all that stuff to make your arms grow and that's where people go wrong is they're you know they're so they're not open-minded you gotta you know expand learn get better Chinese say you live you know you learn something new live a day longer and um, you know I think Nick's definitely gonna live a day longer after today